In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to create QR code for a website link in Canva. Once you're on canva.com, all you'll need to do is go over to the left-hand menu option and you're going to tap where you see apps. After selecting apps, I want you to tap on the search bar and you're going to type in QR code. So let's do that real quick. Then you're going to tap on enter. After tapping on enter, you can see that you have 23 different apps you can choose from. And majority of these apps are QR code generators. So for example, you can select this one, QR code. And from here, you can choose whether you'd like to add your QR code to an existing device or use it in a new device. We could tap on new device or new design better yet. Then for example, you can select any one of these options. Let's say I want to use it for a Facebook post. I could select Facebook post. After you have done that, you can see from the left hand menu option, I can enter a URL. So let's say for example, I were to go onto ESPN and I'm going to be using their URL for example. So all I would need to do is simply paste in the URL right here, then tap on generate code. And you can see a QR code has been added as you can see right here. Now, once it has been added, all you'll need to do is tap on share. Then from there, you could tap on download and you'll be able to download it. Keep in mind that you could also change the background color. So you'll select the page, then you'll tap on the color icon in the top left hand corner. And from here, you could change the background color if you want, as you can see right there. Or you could add an image to the background by going over to uploads. Let's say I would like to use this image as the background. I could simply select the image, then tap on the three dots that says more, then tap on replace background. And you can see that I've added an image as my background. So you have a few options when it comes on to customizing. Another thing that you could also do is if we were to go back to the QR code apps, we could select another app. So for example, you could select QR code generator. And again, you can use it either in an existing design or you can choose to use it in a new design. So for example, I'm going to select new design once more. Then I'm going to select Facebook post once more. After you have done that again, from the left hand menu option, you will see the option to connect. You're going to tap on connect. Then from here, you can sign up quickly. So to get your API key, you'll simply tap on QR Tiger. And from here, you could sign up using your email address and password, or you could continue with your Google account. Once you have signed up, you'll paste in the API key right there, and you're going to tap on authentic Authenticate. And then from there, you'll be able to use it on Canva for free. Another app that you could also use is you could select QR codes and links. And again, we are going to tap on using new design and we are going to select Facebook posts. After selecting Facebook posts, again, you're going to see the option pop up on the left hand column right here. And all you'll need to do is tap on connect. After you have tapped on connect, you can see that this is a bitly platform. So you can choose to either continue with Google, continue with Apple, or you can simply enter your email address and password. And from there, once again, you will be able to add your links using this app. Another option that you could also use is you could select the simple QR and then we could tap on using new. And the simple QR is as its name says, it is simple to use. But unfortunately, this app is no longer available, as you can see right there. So what I would recommend you do, you can go back and you can choose from any one of these other apps. One of my favorite apps to use is MeQR Generator. So I'll simply tap on Use in New Design and I'm going to select Facebook Posts. After doing that, you will be redirected to this and you are going to tap on Connect. So I'm going to tap on Connect real quick. From here, you'll be able to log in. After you're logged in, you'll be able to create a stunning QR code using MeQR. And that's it. You can use any one of these apps to generate a QR code. 
Hope you found this tutorial helpful and informative. If you did, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe.